Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Last time, we found ourselves training at Chocobo, which allows us to get to Remium Temple. Remium Temple is, as I was saying at the end of the last episode, pretty much just a little den for uh, some side quests that we can do. And this is the welcome first one I Luna. want to do. What is this place? Remium Temple. Once a great religious center in the Calm Lands, lost after the battle with Sin. Okay. And this is your home? What? You got something against company? <laughs> it's a long story. Easier perhaps to show you. You're dead too. Everyone's dead. Look at this Don't world. Don't send me just yet. There is still one thing left for me to do here. With the help I can give, a young summoner might just be able to defeat Sin. Well, Yuna, I challenge you. If you cannot beat me, you'll never beat Sin. Now, if you remember the first time we saw her, um, she, had, well. she had said Before something begin, about... I can't remember exactly what she ready? said, but she said uh, she was un... you know, she... It's not that she couldn't beat Sin, she, or that she wouldn't be able to beat Sin, but she was unable to, like, implying that she had tried and failed. That's basically the point. She tried to battle Sin and failed, or she tried to battle Sin Choose and succeeded but well, died, or no one sent her, or something like that. We're going to get Ifrit out here for this fight. Now, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to use a different Aeon for each uh, battle here. And the reason for that is, is I don't want to have to go outside and rebuild up my overdrives. And that's the main way you're going to deal a lot of your damage. That's also why I taught uh, Faraga to uh, to Ifrit there so that we can deal a bunch more damage. I can't remember exactly how much HP this guy has. I uh, do note that he can use Energy Ray like that. And hopefully that doesn't kill me, because that would really suck. Even if his overdrive is not full. Okay, good. Um, I think I can probably kill him, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal first. Just in case. And then as long as he doesn't use Energy Ray again, which he didn't, it's nice. Then I will go with uh, my overdrive here. He gets three turns, and as long as he doesn't use multiple energy rays, I should be able to survive. But I think I've done enough damage to kill him. There we go. Nice. Uh, I am going to take uh, a little bit of a uh, pause break here, because I was I had intended on pulling up a sheet with all of the HP uh, levels of all these guys, and then I forgot. Stop. That is <laughs> enough. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we're gonna fight them all in order, all the way up to Bahamut. Ah, you have made some progress. And for that, I'm glad. Take this. It may come in handy. And she does give you prizes for each one, including the Lightning Gem, which uh, we do want to make use of here. Uh, go for Aeons, Abilities, Ixion. And now we have Thundaga for Ixion. So, uh, we weren't able to get Lightning Gems prior to this, so uh, that's why I wasn't able to get them before we came in here. Okay, so I'm going to go outside and save, and I'm going to uh, get my notes all set up, and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, got things all figured out there. And basically, you just need to approach her well, over and over again. Shall we see how well your training serves you? And uh, the other thing is you can also fight the Aeons that you've already fought. And you get some kind of like random rewards, things like uh, elemental gems, potions, strength sphere, or not strength spheres, but power spheres, the, the crappy ones that we get from every other enemy. For the most part, it's not worthwhile doing. So we're just going to well. beat everyone Before once. Before we begin, now, are you ready? She's nice enough to uh, heal you every single time, so that's good. Now, Ifrit, you could challenge with Shiva, but for the most part, you don't need your elemental... Uh, Choose your Aeon well, Summer. ...to make use of elemental strengths and weaknesses to do really well against these guys. So I'm just going to use Ixion, because Ixion's got uh, some good HP and some good damage, and that's pretty much all we need. 
Not to mention his accuracy is not super, super high, so. Um, first things first. Yeah, we can go for a Thor's Hammer, that's fine. Uh, now, Eifert has 28,000 HP. I think uh, uh, Valfor had only uh, 20,000. Okay, let's see. Now, we're going to start with uh, Thunsum Thundaga there. And some more Thundaga. And then I think we should probably heal up a little bit. Uh, you know what? One more first. So, now we've done enough. He should be, uh, we've done, what, 2200 now? So I can unleash another overdrive here if I need to. Which I probably will do because I'm running out of MP. You could use normal attacks too, but the spells seem to do more damage, so there we go. And it's pretty straightforward uh, as far as that goes. Now, the next one we're going to fight is Ixion. Now, Ixion, uh, you're not going to get any overkills and you don't get experience, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't change your rewards or anything like that. I think you need to do all of their damage in, or all of their Stop. HP in one that hit to enough. get an overkill. Kind of dumb, but whatever. Uh, Ixion has 30,000 HP, and that's what we're going to fight next. Ah, you have made some progress. And for that, I'm glad. Take this. It may come in handy. 30 X potions. Not bad. How many X potions do I have now? 49. Pretty cool. Uh, I am actually going to save before the next one against Ixion, because it uh, can be slightly tricky. Okay. Now, depending on how you You've got quite set a name up to live up to, daughter of Braska. Your aeons at this point, you may want to do this in a slightly different way than I Very am. Very well. Before we begin. Now, are you ready? Okay. So yeah, she's going to summon Axion. I'm going to summon Bahamut. Now, in the end of the last episode, I had uh, taught uh, Bahamut uh, Null Shock, which really isn't necessary. I was thinking that, well, it's a lightning guy. I'll probably want that, but he almost never uses lightning attacks. He normally uses his physical Choose attack. Choose your Aeon well, Summoner. But I was just thinking that might have been an effective way of uh, making things a little easier for me. But uh, with all the extra HP I've picked up by going into Riku's path there, I have more than enough HP, I think, to uh, handle this pretty easily. And uh, getting enough Chocobo Feathers for haste is a big part of that. So, uh, we're gonna start off with haste there. Uh, you could use shell if you wanted to, or, uh, the, uh, null shock thing. But, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go straight for a mega flare there. Now, he's got 30,000 total HP, and I think I can do about half of his damage, or his HP here. Almost half. Now, he's gonna get a turn in. And actually, he gets two turns in for some reason. Ow, that's a lot of damage. Um, jeez, maybe I do want... Uh, I wonder if Shell would probably reduce some of that damage. Maybe. Anyway, I'm going to use... I was thinking I was going to do one thing, but I think I'll just go with Water Gun, because that'll build up my... Uh, Overdrive a little bit as well. And Haste is going to uh, help me out here. And his next hit should give me another Overdrive. Oh, he evades. Well, that doesn't do anything. Uh, for some reason, Ixion waits a turn every once in a while and defends or evades. Uh, so just keep using elemental spells. You should be fine. This shouldn't kill me. So now I can unload with... Uh, my overdrive, which actually I'll use one more water guy for for safety there. Just in case, I don't want him to uh, kill me here. And another Mega Flare, and that should be enough to take him down, hopefully. If not, I'll have to reload. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, Bahamut's a good choice for them. Uh, he's not as effective, and it's more luck-based if you don't have haste. So Stop. I would recommend teaching enough. haste. 
uh, to him before the start of that fight, you can always run back to the Thunder Plains and steal more uh, Chocobo Feathers if you don't have enough. I have made some progress, and for that, I'm glad. Take this. It may come in handy. And because they like to tell you after the fact that Chocobo Feathers would have been useful if you taste your guy before the fight, they give it to you after the fight. Such a dick move. Um, yeah, I think I'm good to go. We, uh, can, uh, Well, Yuna, shall we see how well your training serves you? Sure, why not? Um, so, we're gonna go up against well. Shiva this time. Now. And Shiva, um, doesn't, well, who haven't I used yet? Valfor's the only one I haven't really used. Um, oh, I meant to, uh, teach... Fyraga to Valfor before this fight so that uh, Valfor would have well, a useful ability to uh, to use. And I was going to use uh, Valfor for it. Huh. And I forgot to... Like, I had extra fire gems to teach uh, Fyraga to uh, Valfor. But without it, um, I don't think I'll survive. Ah, we can try it. Why not? Sure. And you want to use Energy Ray instead of Energy Blast here because it's got lower recovery time and you're going to deal max damage with both anyway. So we'll go with Energy Ray. Deals max damage. And let's hope that Valfor does some nice evading. Ouchie! Okay, um, I don't have any white magic. Um, but you do want to deal some damage, because, uh, Shiva has 20,000 HP, so if we do a fire spell on her... Uh-oh. Well, there goes that plan. Let's cast another fire spell. Oh, we might be able to, uh, get this done without Fyraga. Fyraga would have been a much better choice. But, uh, come on, hit me one more time, or at least attempt to hit me, but don't kill me. Do not heal yourself. Game! Now I'm dead, aren't I? Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I should have used shield, but oh well. No biggie. We get to see Diamond Dust in its full animation one more time. If you had shielded, you would have survived Diamond Dust. It only would have done maybe a thousand damage. Uh, I was hoping that it wouldn't do quite enough to give it an over. Oh, I survived. Um. Okay. I'll take that. Hopefully, this is enough damage. <laughs> oh wow! I survived. I did not expect to survive that. <laughs> okay, there you go. Stop. That is enough. Yeah. Definitely enough. Ah, you have made some progress. And for that, I'm glad. Take this. It may come in handy. Alright, we get 60 Mega Potion. What was I saying about, uh about not having what I wanted there for uh, Bahamut? Bahamut! Let's see... Curaga! It uses a lot... Of, oh, it only uses 60, but it uses a lot of them, but still, having Curaga on Bahamut is really, really good. It means your best Aeon, your one that can deal the most amount of damage, can cast Haste and Curaga on itself, and which means it can keep up with the uh, damage of, you know, most of the things you can put it up against. So that's a really, really good idea. It's like, I'm really lucky. I'm going to save, and I'll see you in a moment. Yeah, I don't know why when we fought her in the calm lands there, all of our elemental damage... I'm just going to skip the dialogue. Uh, does uh, so well. all of our elemental spells were doing now, nothing to her Shiva. Ready? But now when we go to fight her, our elemental spells do lots more damage, and her Aeons really don't do that much at all. So if I didn't show it off because I was summoning Bahamut off screen, here's the uh, full uh, animation for summoning him. 
pretty sure we saw this one. I think it's the Mega Flare one that I missed. I'll be able to show that off at some point. Maybe, maybe in this fight even. I don't know. You can shield your Choose way your through well, uh, Mega Flare if he does decide to cast it. But there's Shiva. And we'll start off with Diamond Dust. Pretty much that's usually the best way of doing things. Start off with Diamond Dust or whatever your overdrive is and then, you know, let it build up slowly uh, afterwards so that you can build up another overdrive. Now, Shiva does have a relatively high evasion, uh, but sometimes it doesn't work in these uh, particular battles. So, Kazaga, we can cast that on him. And he will counterattack every time you hit him with anything. There we go. And every one of his actual turns, he just countdowns to when he's going to use uh, his uh, overdrive there. Uh, Bahamut has 35,000 HP. Okay, Black Magic, Lazara. There's some nice healing. He's at three. I guess he's not going to get his, uh, his thing out there. But we'll hit him with Blazaga. So I should be able to hit him with Diamond Dust here. And that should be the end of things. Hopefully. Just barely enough, I think. There we go. And that's the end of all of the Aeons that she has for us to uh, defeat Stop. right now. That is enough. But uh, those are the main Aeons that you can get in the game, the, the five that we have. Though there are three ah, secret yeah, Aeons that some you can progress. get. Take this. And the Flower Scepter is an item that we need in order to get uh, one of the hidden Aeons. But it's not the only piece of the puzzle. And in order to make use of it, we need to head back here. Doors are steel sealed by Strange Power. Oh, I can't do it yet. Never mind. I, I think I have to get uh, all the other Aeons before uh, I can even put the things in then. Okay, that's fine. No big deal. All right, so we did all that. That's nice. Just uh, save real quick here. And we'll start this, even though we don't have time to do all of it today. This is the Chocobo Remium side quest thingy. Yeah, you can ride a whole new uh, chocobo here, and basically the way this works, I'm not going to go over the instructions they give. Uh, as you come out of here, you want to be holding the button and try and go the right way. Now, you want to not hit any of those colored uh, things like that right there, and you want to get as many chests as possible. Uh, you get a different prize for each one. But uh, you won't get, say, if you do all five chests the first time around, you will not get all, uh, all the different prizes you could get for one chest, two chests, three chests, four chests, and five chests. So we have to do them one at a time, get, beat it, and get one chest. Basically, you, it's a spiral. So you start on one side, the other chocobo starts on the other side, and whoever gets down to the uh, bottom first wins. And for beating it the first time, we get the Cloudy Mirror. Seems to have lost his powers. We need to find a way of restoring that. Uh, we will be going to do that before too long. Uh, but there are other rewards to get from it, like I was saying. One uh, reward for one chest is the Cloudy Mirror. There's one for two chests, three chests, four chests, and five chests. But if you hit any of the flags, you won't be able to get, I think, any rewards? I, I, I could be wrong on that. I am not uh, particularly well practiced at this at the moment. So I will uh, probably not uh, do particularly well. Okay. Unfortunately, it's the uh, camera angle that kind of kills you on these things. Just make sure you don't hit any of the, uh, the flag poles there. Uh, because the camera angle's changing, and if you just hold the button, you'll start running into the frickin' wall like an idiot. Because the game absolutely hates the player. And this isn't even the worst of the chocobo uh, things there. Two chests opened, we get a Megalixer for that. 
All right, so let's uh, let's do three. We should be able to get that one done today. That one's not too hard. And then the last two, I'll probably need a little bit of practice for. So I'll, I'll do that in between episodes. Okay. Uh, you always want to hit this one first. I don't think you have to hit the button, but I always do anyway, just out of force of habit. Okay, you don't have to hit the button. I did not. All right, so we want to head back up here, hit this one. So that's three. And shoots us down here. Make sure you don't hit that. And so there we got the uh, third one. The first three are pretty easy to get without even be getting close to the uh, other guy catching you. The last two, not quite so easy. Three chests open. 30 wings to discovery, which I can't remember if they're even all that useful right now. But uh, they're... Uh, a number of items are there only for item creation. And Wings to Discovery, yeah, so they can do uh, triple AP, but we don't have enough of them on a weapon. Uh, and on an armor, what can they do? Oh, um, yeah, they allow you to break HP limit. I don't care. I really don't. Break HP limit is so unnecessary in this game. It's actually kind of funny. But uh, anyway, that's pretty much uh, all the time we have for today. Next time we will do the uh, last two. There might be an additional one for getting only one chest, and I will double check that as well. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.